Well, this is a dynamic model. As you crank the handle, you can see a carpenter working hard, moving his saw to cut a piece of wood. To make this dynamic model, you will need a plastic bottle, a wire crank, coffee stirrer, refills and pins. First cut a 250ml bottle in half and make holes in the lid and the bottle is shown. Then bend a piece of wire to make a crank. The crank converts rotary motion into linear motion. Then take a plastic coffee stirrer and make notches all along its long edge to make saw teeth for cutting. As you rub a stick on the notches, they make a sawing noise. Make holes on both ends of the saw. Place one hole in the saw of the saw in the crank. Now insert the crank and the saw inside the bottle holes. The other end of the saw must come out of the bottle lid. On rotating the crank, the saw will move up and down. So as you crank the handle, the saw is going up and down. Now make a wire man, which is your carpenter using wire and sleeves. This figure is flexible and can easily bend. Notice two small loops on the feet and holes in the hand sleeves. Stand the carpenter by fixing its legs with pins on the bottle lid. Then attach the saw to the carpenter's hand with a pin with stoppers on both the ends of the pin. Now the model is ready to work. Now as you rotate the crank, the saw will move up and down. Place a piece of wood near the saw teeth. Now as you crank, it will appear that the hard working carpenter is merrily sawing a piece of wood. It's really a dynamic working model made from odds and bits.